I would like to excite another kid like my teacher excited me about mathematics. If I was going to choose one thing that I'd like to teach the world about mathematics, I think it would be the proof that there are infinitely many prime numbers. I think this is really the beginning of mathematics as an analytic subject. The amazing ability to be able to prove beyond any doubt that the primes, these indivisible numbers like 17, 19, things which can't be divided by any other numbers, that they never run out, that there are infinitely many of these numbers. Who wants number three? Prime numbers, I think, are the most interesting numbers in the whole of mathematics. If you take a number like um, 15, uh, that's not a prime number because I can divide it by 3 and 5, but once I get down to 3 and 5, I can't divide these any further. Any number can be divided and divided until you get to these indivisible numbers that you can't divide any further. They're so important because using the primes by multiplying them together, you get all numbers, and out of numbers you have the whole of mathematics, and from mathematics you move the whole of science. So in a sense, they're right down there at the foundation of the whole of the world of science. The beautiful thing about Euclid's proof that there are infinitely many prime numbers is that it's surprising, yet when you see it, it's actually quite a simple argument. I mean, suppose, for example, I want to show that um, the numbers in my football team, we had 2 up to 43. Suppose those are all the prime numbers there are. Perhaps you can build all other numbers by multiplying the primes in our football team together. Euclid came up with this clever way to show why there must be a number which can't be built out of those primes from 2 to 43. What he did was to take all our football shirts, multiply them together, so he did 2 times 3 times 5 times 7, all the way up to 43. Then here was his act of genius. What he did was to add 1 to this number. Now, can this new number that Euclid built be built out of any of the primes in our football team? Well, no, because if you divide that number of Euclid's by any of the numbers in our football team, you always get a remainder one. And so Euclid's found a number which isn't built out of any of the primes in our football team. So there must be another football shirt with a different prime number which is helping you to build that number that Euclid's built. I think there's a real problem in schools with the way mathematics is taught because there aren't enough teachers showing you how much wonderful mathematical music there is out there. There are moments when I scored a goal where you know, the elation of just the breakthrough of hours of toiling away and suddenly there it goes in. Uh, and it's the same with mathematics that um, you, you know you work away at this thing and then suddenly you see how to do it and that is the biggest buzz out.